year, thousands of people braved the frigid waters of the north to take a polar bear plunge. So Sanibel Island seems like the last place to host the polar bear tradition. But as Bay Scroggins reports, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you take the plunge. Without white snow and ice, this white sand and 71 degree water will have to do. Last year we just stumbled into it. This year we came with a theme. A few Buckeyes back for their second Sanibel polar bear plunge. We thought it was a joke. We're like, what kind of polar bear swim is this? But then we decided this is the way to go. It's cold up north. We'll come down here and do it. Come on, sign in, get your anthems. John Carney started the polar bear club on Sanibel seven years ago. What started as just 29 people has grown into a crowded. 146. The decorated pith hat and all. People just tell you all the time it's not up north. Why well, it's good enough for us? From the baby cubs to the adult bears, man nor beast is left out. According to the tradition, the people who go in the water are the bears. The people who stay on the beach, they're the mice. And that doesn't bother Diane Ween. Mouse is just more my personality. I'm not a roar kind of gal. At the crack of noon. Well, Make a big semicircle. Tradition unfolds. God bless the polar bears. And for the vacationers turned polar bears. It was good. It felt wonderful, refreshing. Taking the plunge means taking home New Year's memories. Everything for this. The polar bear club. <laughs> I'm not saying I will never become a bear, but it's got to get a little warmer out before I become a bear. It's Santa Bell. Our blood's thinned over the years here, so, you know, for us, it's, it's cold enough. Nice job. On Sanibel, Bay Scroggins, ABC 7 News.